All right, so let's go ahead and create a couple forms for the Livingston Hotels and Resorts platform. So we wanna go ahead and create two different forms. The first one is gonna be external to gather some customer feedback uh, for the actual hotel so that we can continue to improve the business. And the second is going to be internal for employees, getting some feedback for how they like working at Livingston on the Livingston Loop, all right? Now for the customer survey, we wanna make this of course global so that we can place this survey in any site that we'd like. So this could be used at the Bavarian Resort site or the Bali Resort site or any other hotel or resort site uh, we create. So let's go ahead and go to that global site so that we can create our form there. All right. Okay, so click on the site selector here. All right, and click on the My Sites tab and you will see the global site option here, okay? So go ahead and click on global. All right, and from here, go ahead and open up the content section and forms. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and click on the add new form button here at the top. All right, so for here, what we're gonna do is we're going to name the form. So click where it says untitled form, and we're going to name this satisfaction survey. All right, now we can go ahead and start adding some of our fields to our form. All right, so go ahead and click on the add button at the top right. This will show us our different elements or element sets that are available. For our first element, we wanna go ahead and find the single selection option and drag that into the form. And what this will do for us is it will allow us to name our new field as well as provide the options that users can choose from. So for the name, let's go ahead and type in what is your overall opinion of Livingston Hotels and Resorts. And you'll see the question will show up on the form as we type it out. All right, and for the help text, we'll go ahead and just type in something like, choose the option closest to what you think. All right. All right, from here, we get to go ahead and add in our options. So we're just gonna do a gradient from very poor to very good. All right, so this will be very poor. This will be poor, okay, neutral, and then good and very good. All right, so once we've done that, all we need to do is click back on the elements tab here, and it will bring us back to our fields that are available, and of course, save the new field that we have configured. All right, so for the next option, go ahead and find the multiple selection field and drag that underneath our single selection field. And these will give us check boxes that we can have multiple answers for. All right, so for this one, we can, for the label, type in something like, what do you associate with Livingston Hotels and Resorts? And for the helper text, we can say, choose any number of options. Okay, this is a bit of a leading question here, but you know, it works for now. All right, so let's go ahead and add in some of our options. Okay, so luxury will be the first one. Good value will be the second. Exciting will be the third. And comfortable will be the fourth. Okay. Hopefully they choose all four. All right, let's go ahead and click back again on the element tab here, which will bring us back to our fields. All right, for the next one, we're gonna go ahead and drag a simple text field underneath our multiple selection field. So go ahead and grab that and bring that right under our last field here. All right, for this one, we're gonna go ahead and ask the question, is there anything in specific we could be doing better? 
All right, and for this one, we wanna go ahead and choose multiple lines. It will give them more room to type their opinions. All right, so that's our simple field. It's that easy. We can just go ahead and add our new fields. We can configure them. All right, and we can also add a success page for when they have completed the survey. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Click on the options menu for the survey itself. You'll see the options here where we can add new pages. So we can, of course, have multiple pages for our forms. We can reset the page to remove all of the configured fields. And we can choose the add success page here. All right, for the title here, let's go ahead and type in success. And for the content here, we can say something like your feedback is highly valued. Thank you for filling out this form. Realistically, you could type whatever you want, but that's what we're gonna type here. And we can go ahead and click publish form. All right, now you'll see the option that says unpublish. Once it's published, it can be available on a page. You can unpublish it, which allows you to save the form essentially. So it's still an asset on the platform, but it will remove it from the pages that it is placed on. So it's good if you're doing some editing, uh, you can edit on the fly or you can unpublish the form, edit it and then republish it. All right, there is also a preview form option that you can take a look at as well. So if you wanna mess around with this a little bit, if you wanna play with some of the different fields or add some more things to our new form, feel free to pause the video and have at it, go for it, all right? But from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and import our employee satisfaction form into our Livingston Loop site, okay? So this is now available to all of our sites, but we want to have a specific one for the Livingston Loop. So go ahead and use that site selector. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my sites and choose the Livingston loop. All right, from here, I'm gonna to go to content and forms. And we're gonna go ahead and walk through the import process just like we've seen in the other videos. Click on options at the top right, export import, import, choose select file. All right, and we're gonna to go to our exercises, which should be in C Liferay or user home Liferay. And we're gonna open up that eighth section there called gathering feedback forms. And we're gonna choose the employee feedback form LAR file. Go ahead and open that up, click continue and import. Now, once you see the imported form is successful, we can go ahead and close the pop-up here. All right, and let's go ahead and check it out. So click on our new form. All right, so you'll see we have two pages here and we have a couple of fields, okay? It's a, again, it's a nice and simple form. We can go ahead and make an edit to this. All right, so for example, uh, we see here a number of options for things that our employees may or may not be satisfied with with the company. We can go ahead and add a new field for the amount of work time versus break time as the last option here. All right, so to do that, we can go ahead and click on this field and it's gonna open up our options in that element tab that we've seen before. All right, we have our rows and we have our columns. All right, so for the last option under row, okay, we wanna go ahead and add amount of work time versus break time. Okay, and now what we see is this option down at the bottom, okay? So we can go ahead and click save form here this is how you save changes, even if it is already published. All right, if we'd like, we can preview the form as well. So we can click on preview form. All right, and we see our new form here, and we can even check out the other page as well. Okay, so once you're done looking at this, go ahead and close the tab. 
All right, and what we're gonna do is we are going to create an element set together. So we just talked about what these are. Again, these are essentially sets of fields that we can reuse across multiple forms. All right, so if we wanted to have a set of questions that we have at the end of every form, maybe even just gathering feedback about the form itself, we can go ahead and create an element set and make sure to use that with all of our forms. So go ahead and click on the back button here at the very top, which will bring us back to our main forms page here in the site administration panel. Go ahead and click on element sets. All right, and let's add our element set together. So go ahead and click on the add new element set here. Okay. For the title, we're gonna change this to end of form set. Okay, for the description under the title, we're going to say use this set on the last page of a survey or feedback form. All right, and from here, we can go ahead and start adding our fields and making our configuration changes. So you'll see the add button here go ahead and click on the add button. This will open up our elements tab here. All right, by the way, you'll see that you can do element sets within element sets, like an element set section, if you will. All right, so for here, let's go ahead and drag a select from list into our element set here. For the label, let's go ahead and type in, I think the length of this survey and then we'll add our options for the first option we'll do was too long okay was a little long was just right and could have been longer all right so that's one field we can go ahead and click on the back button in the elements tab here and let's go ahead and drag a text field underneath our previous field there. For the label here, we're going to type in, is there anything else you would like to let us know about? Okay. And we'll go ahead and change this to multiple lines as well. And we can go ahead and click save. So this is a good example of an element set that we can use. It's not a ton of fields here that are configured, but it is enough that if we had 10 different forms and we can just tack this onto every single one, it's gonna save us a pretty decent amount of time. So that is the intention of these element sets, okay? So let's go ahead and tack this onto our employee survey. Go ahead and click on the back button here. All right, and you should see the end of form set. Let's click on the forms tab. All right, and we'll see the employee satisfaction form here. Okay, so this is what we imported and edited. Let's go ahead and click into our form. All right, and let's click the options at the top right, and we will add a new page. All right, so for here, let's go ahead and change the title here to page three. Survey experience is what we'll go ahead and write for the description here. We can go ahead and click the add button and element sets, and we can simply drag the element set to the page. All right, it's that simple. And then we can just go ahead and click save form. Okay, so now we have our page three and we have our element set in use. Okay, so that's it for building our forms. In the next section, we're going to take a look at how we can gather information from these forms. All right, but again, if you'd like, I'd encourage you to create your own form here, uh, maybe add to the forms that we currently had, maybe create your own element sets. Uh, have fun with this. All right, and I'll see you in the next section.